everybody, welcome to the workout. Let's start with standing with the feet quite wide and turned out position so we can work the buttocks and the inner thighs and thighs very well. You go down with the leg, lift up the left leg, press down. Lift up the right leg, press down. Make sure that you don't kick the leg up and come down with uncontrolled movement because the more you control this movement, the more you'll work the legs, the more you'll work the buttocks. Your breath is your choice. You can inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Just make sure you keep your posture, keep the movement going and stretching the leg out. Keeping the sides of the stomach long and breathing as you move. We have last 10. Lift and step. And nine more to go. Lift and step, almost there. Eight more to go. Just think of the nice lovely thighs you'll have. And lifting up seven and lift and reach six more to go keeping the breath and last five more lengthening the leg out four more to go and lifting up pull the navel right into the spine as you move last two more lift reach out with the leg one more to go and lifting up stretching the leg out the hips are nice and warm now we can start with our ball workout take your big ball and place it on the floor and placing the feet on top so with this movement make sure your calves are supported on the ball and pressing into the ball squeezing the glutes turning the feet out flatten the back and press the hands into the mat you curl the lower back off the floor and keep lifting till the middle back is off the floor keep your upper back down don't lift up too high, you'll just strain the back and the, and the back up behind you. Go down, press, make sure you don't lift too high up, then you cool down through the back. One vertebra at a time, making sure you keep the glutes tight, keep the inner thighs drawn in, lifting up again, breathing in. Through the spine, one vertebra at a time, not too high up, remember you don't want to strain the back. Holding the tummy in, lengthen the thighs out, then curl down through the back, one vertebra at a time again, pulling the tummy even more into the floor. When your tailbone is down, don't relax. Keep it tight and lifting up. Almost there, five more to go. Reaching up, long arms out and curling down through the back, one vertebra at a time, exhale. And we have three more up exhale reach up the butt and you can inhale down now for me whichever way feels more comfortable for you breathing in to go up holding the tummy butt breathing out to go down or breathing out to go up exhale to lift and inhale to cool down it doesn't matter which way is more comfortable for you you can choose one more to go we lift now hold the neck and shoulders long, maintain the position of the pelvis, keep the wrap in the butt and now right leg goes to the ceiling, holding the leg high up to the ceiling, lower the buttocks, lift the butt up one, breathing in, breathing out, pulling in the tummy, pulling up, squeeze the buttocks at the bottom, keep lengthening out of the hip joint, last two more, exhale up one more to go exhale lift take the leg down to the ball make sure you maintain the squeeze in the butt and left leg goes up lengthen the leg up to the ceiling curl down inhale and up one pulling in the tummy and up one now make sure you don't go skew with the back maintain a long spine but posture looks good exhale last two more we're almost there exhale one more to go and lifting up exhale place the foot down keep the buttocks up a little bit longer to get that nice squeeze in the butt and then we curl down through the back relax the knees in relax the lower back relax the thighs we'll do another set going out we're going to change it a bit now if you want to challenge yourself you can take the ball further away 
Otherwise, keep the ball in. Make sure the knees doesn't get strained when you do this. Take now the right leg up to the ceiling from the start. Make sure both butts squeeze, lifting up, holding it. Now circle the leg. Touch the foot, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Try not to move the hip bones. Three, last one, four. Exhale, reverse. Breathing in, breathing out. In with the breath, out with the breath. Pull in the tummy and up. Two more to go. Exhale, one more. Keep the leg up. Then curl down through the spine and change legs. The more you do these exercises with good posture, the more you will feel the buttocks and the inner thighs and the legs work. We go up again, lifting, lengthening up, and we go down. Breathe in and up. One, two and out. Exhale. In with the breath, out with the breath. In with the breath, out. One more time. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, exhale, one, two and tummy lift, three and tummy lift, two more to go, keep the butt, one more up, exhale, curl down through the back and the foot place on. Make sure that you feel the back is relaxed now. If your back at any time gets uncomfortable, just take the knees in, in between the movements and give it a break. This is also very good to strengthen your lower back. Lengthen the legs out again. Take the feet slightly further away and now lengthen the arms out. First get the tuck in the butt, hands flatten onto the floor, lift the butt up. Now roll the ball towards you, bending the knees. Now the pelvis line is not there, it is tilted under, so your pubic bone comes to your breastbone. You maintain that as you extend your legs out. Bend the legs in, exhale extend the legs out. In with the breath, out with the breath. Feel how you squeeze the butt all the time. Exhale, reach, keeping the spine nice and hollow here. Make sure you don't arch your back. And last three more, exhale. Two more to go, exhale. One more time to go, exhale. Holding for one, two, three, and curling down. We'll do one more of those. You'll feel how it opens the hips nicely and it's very good for cellulite because you're squeezing into the area so that, that circulation goes all the time there. We lift up the butt, holding long spine out, up the back onto the mat and bend the knees in. Breathing in, open the knees, squeeze butt, exhale, extend the legs, lengthen the legs out. Two, breathing in, exhale, extend and lengthen the thighs. Three, exhale. We'll speed up a bit the movement now. Exhale. If you want to, you can maintain it slow. Just make sure the technique stays. Exhale. Last three more. Squeeze. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. One more to go. Exhale. Lengthen the legs out and curl through the spine one vertebra at a time. And bend the knees into the chest. Take the ball down for me between the knees. Holding. We squeeze the inner thighs in, exhale, exhale, keep the tummy, exhale, pulling in the tummy, make sure all the time you're keeping the ribs in, maintain the glutes, inner thighs active and the legs lengthening out and from there press the feet, curl up the back, you squeeze 20 times, exhale, 3 squeeze, nice quick pulsations and 6 squeeze and 8. Nine and ten more to go. We're almost there. Nine to go. Eight tummy. Seven. Six squeeze the butt. Five. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Now we go. Down up. One, two, three squeezes. Down with the butt up. Squeeze two, three. Down up. Exhale two, three. Make sure you work with your breath. Exhale two, three. So you can maintain the stamina. Exhale. And last five. Squeeze. Keep under the butt. Four more. Lift the toes up, pressing to the heels. It will help you connect with your butt and your hamstring more. Last two more. Exhale. And one more to go. Exhale. And curling down the back. We'll do one more set. Lifting up the buttocks. And squeeze first. Ten squeezes. Ten straight squeezes. Four, 
five, think good posture, and last, three more, two more, one, last one, we go down, up, one, two, three, two, up, exhale, two, three, last, four more to go, squeeze the ball, and three more to go, make sure you connect the inner thighs with the ball all the time, and we go, two more, exhale, two, three, one more to go, exhale, two, three, and curl down the back, take the feet on top of the ball, and just resting the knees out to the side. And that is the end of the workout. Thank you.